my name is Madeline York, and I am here to introduce Peter Roussel, who is the former press secretary for two presidents and is currently an on-air analyst for Channel 13 and a professor at Sam Houston State University. He is our featured speaker for our leadership breakfast on July 13th, which will be here at the Hotel Grand Duca. Peter, your family has a long history in Houston. Please tell us about how they got started in the news business. I, I come from a family of journalists and creative type people, I guess you could say, in that my mother was uh, a reporter on the Houston Post and my father was the, was the drama and music and film critic on the Houston Post. And my uncle at one point was the city editor of the Houston Press and working under him was a young reporter named Walter Cronkite back in the 1930s. So that's the background from which I come, out of journalism. Okay. Do you have any interesting stories, Peter, about those days and times? And my father, you know, he interviewed, you know, just on and on, names, you know, Clark Gable, Judy Garland. I'll tell you what he did with, uh, one time there was a new Judy Garland movie coming out. She was making a, a tour around the country, which they used to do in those days. The stars would go out and tour to promote their movies. And um, what he did, what my dad did was, he got my older brother, who was the same age as Judy Garland at that time, they were both 14, and they got on the train and rode up to a Liberty and met the train there and rode into Houston. And he had my brother interview Judy Garland on the train. And then in his column in the Post appeared my brother's interview. You know, one 14-year-old interviews another, which, uh, you know, you got his, it was a fairly clever idea. You're currently in on-air analyst for Channel 13, and you also teach courses at Sam Houston State University. Can you tell us about both of those? Well, Channel 13 it signed me up some time ago to be an on-the-air commentator for them. I'm on, not on the, on the air as an analyst for either political party. I'm on there to call them as I see them, both ways, and so that's what I do, and I enjoy that. What has been interesting for me doing that is, in a sense, I've, I've come over to the other side of the camera. Uh, and every now and then, although it's getting to be less and getting to be less and less now, the, somebody will ask me something. Uh, a lot of times they have me on Sunday morning, and we kind of have an extended conversation, two or three minutes, and they'll ask me something, and I'll find that I'm still answering, sort of, with a press secretary's hat still on, and I can see it in their eyes. Oh, come on, give, you know, give me a give me a good answer here. So I, I've kind of had to, you know, yeah. wean myself from that and. and just say what, I, you know, hey, let me give it to you with the bark off. Here's what I think on this. So, but I'm thoroughly enjoying that. And it's a way for me to kind of, I guess you could say, scratch the itch and still be engaged in that arena. Then, yes, the other thing I'm doing, I was asked to fill a, a teaching chair at Sam Houston State University. And I'm thoroughly enjoying that because uh, I'm teaching courses on the press and the presidency and on writing for public relations, which has been the other half of my career. Uh, my career has been about, if you split it out, it's about even. About half of it was in public relations and the other half was in some form of press secretary and government and politics and in the White House. So, uh, Peter, you've been all over the world, including in Washington, D.C. and in Europe. What brings you back to Houston? What's that anchor? I think it's, it's just because of the place and the people. It's, you find the best people in the world in Houston. Can you tell us a little bit about your role as press secretary? What was that like? Well, I, again, I was blessed in that I got to serve twice in, the, in two different White Houses. Uh, so I was truly afforded a unique opportunity. Now, the first time I served in the White House, I wasn't a press spokesperson. Um, I was what they call a staff assistant to the president. Um, and the, then later, while I was working there, I transferred over to the President Ford Committee and helped Jim Baker, Houston's Jim Baker, run President Ford's uh, campaign in 1976. Now, the second time I served there, I was a, a spokesperson for President Reagan and uh, totally different responsibility and a unique responsibility. 